This is Devontae Adams. Back corner for Adams. He pulls it in. And the Philadelphia Eagles are arguably the best team in the NFC. So I had the bright idea to give him one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. So as you guys can see, my boy Devontae Adams is on the Philadelphia Eagles. This is what the defense is looking like. I mean, there's definitely some spots that we can improve on. But other than that area right there, this is definitely a top five defense in the league. And on the other hand, this offense is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, just take a look at our wide receivers. We got Devontae Adams, AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, and Quez Watkins. So, I mean, at this point, Jalen Hurts really does not have any excuses to lose games. Because, I mean, he has every weapon he could possibly ask for. But you know the drill. We're going to go ahead and sim to the playoffs and see what's up and i mean i'm expecting that this team is gonna go off this season and as you can see we're gonna go 14 and 3 to win the division which is also gonna give us the number one seed in the playoffs but as you can see Devonte adams only scored seven touchdowns this season so i mean he really did not do a whole lot and as you can see we got to take on the 49ers in the divisional round so we are gonna need our boy Devonte adams to go off in the playoffs and as you can see, we went ahead and put the Niners in a pack. So now we play the Cowboys for a trip to the Super Bowl. As you can see, we're down 14-0. Um, this has not been a good day for the Eagles. But at the same time, we all know how the Eagles like to move. So we should be able to cut into that lead pretty quickly, especially when Adams is wide open. I feel like this would be such a sick NFC Championship game just because we all know that the Cowboys and Eagles probably have one of the best rivalries in NFL history. That might be a touchdown. Come on. We're barely going to squeeze. He's in my boy kind of got punched in the face but that pushed us in the end zone so that's going to be a touchdown for aj brown so that's going to cut the lead in half but i mean we're still losing so this might be a very disappointing end to year number one as you can see in the fourth quarter we're only down by like one score but they scored again and yeah that's game we keep giving the ball up i mean we were clawing back but i mean our offense kind of crashed and decided it'd be fun to throw some interceptions so we're gonna lose on our home field to the Cowboys in the NFC Championship. But on the bright side, our boy Jalen Hurts did go ahead to win MVP this season, and we also got Coach of the Year. And the part that really brings a smile to my face is the fact that the Cowboys got crushed by the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. I know a lot of Cowboy fans are going to be on my ass for that comment, but I mean, they're like the Toronto Maple Leafs of the NFL. No one can deny that. But anyways, that's going to bring us to free agency, and after getting packed on our home field by the Cowboys, I decided to make some changes. So we went ahead and picked up Kareem Hunt, because we didn't really have the best running back and we also picked up miles jack who's gonna be a big help on the defense but anyways that's gonna bring us to year number two and i mean this team is obviously still stacked after those upgrades in the offseason this team has a 91 overall offense and an 81 overall defense so we should be able to make the playoffs no problem we got trade offers for deandre swift too i'm obviously picking up xavier howard give me that our cornerbacks are absolutely stacked after that trade i mean we got darius slay xavier and Howard, James Bradbury, and Maddox. I mean, we might just have the best defense in the league now, but we're going to go ahead and sim to the playoffs again and see what's up. Now, as you can see, we're going to go off this season with a 15 and 2 record, which wins the division. And it's also going to give us the number one seed in the playoffs for the second season in a row. And as you can see, we got to take on the commanders in the divisional round. They're 8 and 9. Um, I'm not too sure how they made it to the playoffs, but we should be able to clap them. And as you can see, it was a really close game but we got the win so now we play the falcons for a trip to the super bowl and somehow the falcons managed to score first so we're down seven nothing oh my god bro we're gonna have to have a crazy drive to start this game off because i mean ea as i've said a million times loves the falcons so even though the roster is kind of vast they usually end up having a crazy playoff run for some reason that's a nice pickup from goddard i mean it actually makes no sense to me how they always make it to either the nfc championship game or the super bowl because we all know that shit is not happening in real life but i mean as long as someone can get open here we should be able to tie the game up aj brown is looking wide open that was a crazy grab we had three defenders on us and that was just an absolute dot for jalen hurt so it fell right into his hands so that's gonna tie the game up but again now it's time to sim and ea loves the falcon so i wouldn't be surprised if we lost this game but thankfully our boy jalen hurts is on demon time today so there's no chance that they come back at this point 
they're gonna get absolutely clapped so we actually got the win this time so we're gonna be going to the super bowl in year number two and as you can see we got to take on the colts in the super bowl who actually have a pretty decent team and once again we're gonna win mvp for the second season in a row and we're also gonna get coach of the year for the second season in a row so we've won every award we can possibly win at this point now we just gotta make sure we get a super bowl i'm gonna try and get kareem hunt open that's barely gonna be a first down i do gotta be careful here though because the colts do have a pretty good defense at this point and they also have anthony richardson so that just makes them 10 times better i'm gonna try and get Devonte smith open if this play actually works it should be a lot of yardage let's go we have nothing but open field we're gonna get caught at the seven so once again we're just gonna run trusty dusty bench which usually works every single time for me so i'm expecting the same thing here that's gonna be a touchdown okay let's go i thought we got stopped at the one yard line but we barely snuck in so that's gonna give us the lead but i mean we are playing against like a mini lamar jackson wannabe so this might be a tough game and as you can see in the fourth quarter it seems like anthony richardson was uh kind of upset that i disrespected him because he is going off we're kind of crawling back but there's not enough time so that is a very tough loss to take oh we were this close man it really sucks when you make it this far just to lose in the super bowl i mean anthony richardson kind of went off after i called him a lamar jackson wannabe but i mean it turns out the lamar jackson wannabe is gonna get his hands on a lombardi trophy before lamar jackson but anyways that brings us to the off season and i had to make some trades because this team definitely needs a bit of work at this point as you can see this was a bit pricey it cost a first round second round and a third round pick but we got thornhill and whatever the hell this guy's last name is the right outside linebacker and we're also gonna give the ravens maddox in the second round pick for linderbaum and pierce and after that trade this is what the offense is looking like the o-line has definitely improved and i mean at this point other than the left end situation this is definitely the best defense in the league but anyways we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs again and i'm hoping that this time this team is built well enough to actually win a super bowl and as you can see this stacked ass team is gonna go 14 and 3 to win the division for the third season in a row and we're also gonna lock up the number one seed in the playoffs for the third season in a row and as you can see we gotta take on the pack in the divisional round who are eight and nine so i mean they're kind of trash we better win this game and i mean it seems like the packers let their practice squad play because they got absolutely murk so now we play the rams for a trip to the super bowl as you can see we also have terrible field position to start this game off so hopefully goddard can get open there's nobody remotely close to him that is a huge pickup okay we really needed that i'm gonna switch it up this time and try and hit adams again though because that man has been pretty much unstoppable lately and it looks like that's gonna be another first down whatever i do here though i gotta make sure i don't underestimate the rams because i mean they did terrible last season but that's only because of injuries i can almost guarantee you they're gonna be one of the best teams in the nfl again next season i mean that might be a stretch but i mean if cooper cup stays healthy i definitely say they're gonna have a winning record come on we're gonna get stopped at the three yard line i'm just running y stick and i'm praying that brown does not get locked up because then this play won't work we're gonna get the touchdown though so that's gonna tie the game up thankfully aaron donald got hurt on that play too so that's good news for us but we're gonna sim to the end of this game and i mean hopefully the rams don't clap us and thankfully it looks like they're not gonna be pulling off any surprises so as long as we don't somehow allow 20 points in the next 30 seconds we're gonna be going back to the super bowl for the second season in a row and i mean hopefully we can actually get the job done this time but i mean we gotta take on joe burrow and the Bengals, so it doesn't look like things are getting any easier for us but as you can see jalen hurts is gonna go ahead and win mvp for the third season in a row and we also got coach of the year for the third season in a row so we are cleaning up with the awards but i mean it would be nice if we could actually win a super bowl for once but i mean we're losing to start this game off which is really no surprise because Joe Burrow usually goes off. We need a first down or we're kind of screwed because it's fourth and 20 right now or third and 20. We're gonna get the first though, so drive still alive. 
This play could really go either way, but I mean, if Brown can get open, which he is wide open, that might be a touchdown. Come on, please, please, please. We're in, we're in. Let's go. Oh, I did not think that would actually work. That's going to tie the game up, though. We really needed that touchdown, and that was a lot of yardage off of that play as well. But now it's time to sim, and I mean, we're playing Joe Burrow, so I don't know how this is going to end. It could really go either way. But as you can see in the fourth quarter, I mean, we actually have a pretty nice lead for once, and that clock is running down right now now so it looks like we're finally gonna win a super bowl after losing last season i mean it took us three seasons which i thought we'd get the job done in year number one or year number two but i mean now this team has won every award we can possibly win in this video but we're gonna cap this season off with our boy jalen hurts and the philadelphia eagles finally getting themselves a lombardi trophy but i mean that brings us to the re-signing stage and i mean on the bright side we pretty much got all of our players back but i mean we had to franchise tag hayson reddick so we are way in the negative right now which means we're not going to be picking up any players but anyways that's going to bring us to year number four which is going to be the final season of this video and i mean i'd say this team is definitely in good hands right now i mean other than the right guard situation this offense is stacked and it's kind of the same story of the defense this is probably a top five defense in the league if not top three but we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs for the final time and hopefully we can make another run for the super bowl but unfortunately Unfortunately, this season we're gonna crash going eight and nine, which does not put us in the playoffs. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm extremely butthurt with that record right there. I mean, I'm happy we at least won a Super Bowl, but I did not think we would end off going down bad like that. But I mean, we somehow still managed to win MVP with an eight and nine record. So that is four seasons in a row of winning MVP. And somehow the Washington Commanders managed to win the Super Bowl against the Denver Broncos. So that is definitely an interesting way to end off the this video but that's gonna do it if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it really help out the channel if you have any video ideas feel free to leave them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and while you're down there you might as well comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out